Hello everyone, we're very happy to be back for our third episode of Loaves and Fishes. My name is Imelda and it's my great pleasure to be bringing music to all of you with my good friend Michelle Yap. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Loaves and Fishes again. Tonight is um, it's going to be a very exciting live stream. We've got drums today. Yay, <laughs> so groovy, right? <laughs> yeah, and we've got another special guest that we will bring on in a bit. But we would like to uh, just take this opportunity to thank Eden Resources for making all this possible. Yes, thank you, Chris, from Eden Resources for your continued support um, to make our show possible. Now, before we introduce our very special guest for tonight, uh, we will start off with a song um, called Where the Boys Are. We chose this song to start with because we have three boys with us tonight, um, boys of different ages. And I'm very proud to bring back my son, Joshua, to perform with us uh, and we will share a little more about our two guests later, another two boys. Um, so here's something called Where the Boys Are.
Thank you. And that was a golden OD from 1961. It's called Where the Boys Are by Connie Francis. Now, I'd like to introduce someone very special, our very special guest, who is right behind us, right here, if you can see him, if you have already noticed his fantastic drumming. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Tony Z. Yay! Very excited to have drums here tonight because the energy is really different, right? I don't have to shake my eggs anymore. Now, Tony, if you don't already know him, is one of Singapore's most prolific drummers and he has been performing since the early 60s and he was always, is always, the first call drummer and everyone knows and loves Tony Z. So just when we were here, so many people walked past, oh, hi Tony, hi Tony, even got a special phone call for him, you know. So yes, Tony, and Tony has played with the best of the best musicians in Singapore and has been in numerous bands of which the Trailers was uh, one of them. And Trailers, I must say, was it the earliest band? The first band that he joined? Now, we especially highlight the Trailers because our second guest is also closely related with this very special band. And we shall share more about that later on when he comes on. And again, one, all of tonight's songs are popular pieces from the 50s to 60s, and they are still very well loved and appreciated today. So we hope you like the selection we have prepared for everyone. Um, I guess it's time to say hello to a few friends online. Hello everyone who has joined us. If we missed your comments, we're very sorry because we're watching a few streams at the same time. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Hello Christine. Hello uh, Nancy E.E. is here. Uh, Janet, Angela, Tao Yong. And Adrian Chia says, hi Tony. To Uncle Tony says hi. <laughs> okay. And then Yu King is here with us also. And, uh, okay, we'll say hello later on, okay? I may have missed out your name, I apologise. Uh, okay, next up, okay. What's our next song? Okay, so the next piece, I'm nervous, you know, I don't know why I've been doing this for so long, but I'm still nervous because we're talking to cameras. And we, we, I mean, we can only see your responses from the comments and we may sometimes miss it. Okay, the next piece we have is something from Cliff Richard. And according to my source, it was something that the trailers used to play um, very often back in the day when, you know, they were the hottest band at that time. Now sing along with us because I'm sure you know this very well and I'd like to take this chance to wish everyone, young and old, a happy Children's Day. So something called The Young Ones. Together, 
a fabulous ending. And there was something from um, the same movie title called uh, The Young Ones uh, from 1961. Well, 1960s, a lot of happening songs. We hope you were swaying along to that. Joshua, would you like to invite our very special second guest up on stage? So um, our very anticipated second guest is actually my grandfather, uh, Tom Lau. And yeah, please welcome him to the stage. It's not really a stage, it's a, it's a carpeted area. <laughs> actually, um, I only found out recently that uh, my grandfather actually um, was a manager of a band called The Trailers in the 60s. And he and Uncle Tony Z haven't seen each other for about 53 years. Right? 53 years. That's amazingly long. So tonight is the first time that they've seen each other in 53 years. How yeah. awesome is that, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll interview them a little more later. So let's get into our next song. Um, please release me. Okay. Before I go on, I'd just like to say a few words. Uh, I'm very happy uh, that my grandson and my daughter-in-law in Melbourne has invited me to this show. And of course, meeting up with my friends, um, Michelle and my old, old friend. And I was telling in Melbourne when I was with this guy, George wasn't even in, born yet. He was floating You around. weren't even married then? Yeah. <laughs> so your son wasn't even born, your kids yeah. weren't even born. Yeah, they were still floating like an angel. <laughs> like angels. <laughs> okay, and I'd like to say hello to my friends uh, in Bhutan. Namaste. I think my some friends. of them came on, came, on, came on to say hello already. Yeah. Yeah. We can reply them later on, yeah. Yeah, and also my friends in Thailand, Sawadee Krab, my friends in uh, Macau and Hong Kong. Hello. Many <laughs> friends. Lei Dei Ho. Hi, Ho Ho. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, my first song will be... This famous song uh, was made famous, or this song was sung by Ankerbert Humperdinck. Uh, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know his real name? No. no. His real name uh, is Arnold George Dorsey. Ah, okay. Engelbert Humperdinck is a better name. It, it's, it's a stage name. <laughs> yeah, it's it is. It is. Name. It's a lot more catchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he got the, or Arnold or Engelbert, he's got the MBE award. What's an MBE award? That's the British, you know, title. Oh, is that a music, musical award or is this? Yeah. Award, status. Uh, I don't know. It's an award given by the Queen. Ah, okay, okay. You know, that That's interesting. So, so, so it's a big deal. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, 
So um, yeah. <laughs> so um, now this uh, is the first time yeah. I'm performing with you guys, yes. and we didn't do anything. We just came on, just like that. <laughs> Actually, I feel like an alien here. Alien. We're all aliens, lah. <laughs> the old man okay. against the young people. <laughs> no, no, no. We're all young ones, right? Yes. Yes, young at heart. Um. So yeah, actually, during your time, the two very big um, pop, not pop star, rock and roll, right? Rock and roll, pop. Pop of that age, I Okay, anyway, yeah. the, the famous people were Elvis Presley and um, what, what's that guy's name again? The Engelbert. <laughs> yeah. So, could you tell us more about these two characters? And Elvis, of course, was, was during my time, of course. And yeah. uh, he came in with, uh, I think it was uh, Heartbreak Hotel or something like that, wasn't it, Tony? Heartbreak Hotel? Yeah. That was his first song, I, I, his debut. I can't exactly remember because he got so many hits. Uh, that was the first time I come to know of Elvis, yeah. the Heartbreak Hotel. Then, of course, the uh, Hound Dog, you know. You, uh, so you were around the same age, I think, 19, because I went to do some research. How yeah. old? How old are you now? I'm uh, 80. 80. Nah. Two. Yeah. Yeah, yes, 82 years old. I'll be 82 so in December. Engelbert uh, is still alive at 85. And I think Elvis would have been around the same age if he was still around. Probably. Right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the era, man. That was the era, and a lot of fantastic musicians come from there. Jimi Hendrix and all those stuff, you know. I don't know whether I've heard of Jimi Hendrix. Do you know who all these people we mentioned are? Uh? You um, know Elvis? I, I know Elvis Presley. You know Elvis Presley? How come you know Elvis Presley? Because um, can't help falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we'll that be doing that song later on, by the way. That was the <laughs> song that he did in the movie called Blue Hawaii. I should make you watch it. Yes? It, it's still on YouTube. Yeah, you Elvis is it. great, you know. He sings, it's he fantastic. acts, he's good looking. Did he write his own songs? Uh, I don't or he had songwriters. Think so, but uh, Roy Orbison wrote some songs for ah, him. Do you remember Roy Orbison? Sounds familiar, yes, yes. Okay, you know? wow, okay. Okay, okay. Um, so moving on to the next song, um, I will be excusing myself and... Yeah, yeah, will be the one who will be leading it. So, um, we shall release you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Your cheating heart. Your cheating heart. Okay, this song was written by a guy called Hank Williams. He's the country western singer. And uh, this song put him right on top of the chart. And I don't know whether you guys heard of the song called Jambalaya. Yeah, that's another one of his hit, Jambalaya. And then um, he wrote this, this song was because that, uh, his, his first wife broke away from him. And he wrote his song within some minutes, I think, just like that. And then later on, there was a uh, movie made by MGM. It's about also uh, Your Cheating Heart. It's about Hank Williams, his, his story. Ah. And, uh, and his son, Hank, William, Hank Williams Jr., sang the song. So what? Da, 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 da. Wow. And finally... Our friend Elvis Presley did it. Ah, yes, yes. I remember, him, remember? his version, yes. Yes. Okay. So Now Tom Lau will do it. <laughs> Alien version. <laughs> Something wrong with the thing. Sorry, yeah. The tuning is like... <laughs> the tuning the ukulele is a sensitive instrument. You uh, know? To air con, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to air con. It's afraid of the cold. <laughs> yeah. okay. Your cheating heart
One and only Tony Z. Tony Z Z. Now, for those of you who have just joined us, thank you so much. And tonight's episode is very special for us because we're not just bringing you music; we're bringing you a reunion between um, the pioneers of uh, um, Singapore's music scene uh, from the 1960s. So we have Tony Z, who started performing in the 60s, and my father-in-law Tom Lau, who was a manager. I think the first manager of the trailers at that time from 1965 to 68. To 68. Yeah. To 68. So na- since 1968, he and Tony have not seen each other. So tonight is the first time after 53 years, if, you, if our math is correct, after 53 years. Yep. And that, that's a wonderful reunion. With, we thank you f- for joining us tonight. And we're going to have a shorter interview uh, segment with uh, okay. Tom and Tony, double T's. Yeah, yeah, you'll see here. Yeah, oh, we're going to talk chit chat okay. with you. Yes. Okay, you're going to chit chat. Okay, so can okay, everyone see go. our ah. two handsome boys here? Okay, now the first time I performed with, with Uncle Tony, I didn't call him Uncle that, at that time because I didn't really know that, you know, you guys knew each other then. You mean he looks very, very young? And he looks right? young, yes. Yeah. Yes, and then um, that would have been about seven, eight years ago, I, seven years ago when I performed that with long. him. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then uh, later on, when I found out that he's Tony, um, I mentioned that I'm your daughter-in-law, and he was he was very happy. He said, "Please send my regards to Tom. You know, I haven't seen him in so long, but I didn't know it was 53 years. So yeah, tonight is especially significant because you didn't play music with them then. No. Uh, now this is a very funny story. I know nothing about music, okay? But I've got a good pair of ears. I like music and I like sound balancing and so forth. So when I started off. Um, managing the trailers, besides arranging all the contracts and organizing the shows, uh, I used to tune the, you know, listen to the sound and taking the sound balance on stage. And I would tell them, hey, this is too loud, that is too loud, you know. Yeah, he was a slave driver. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) slave driver. (laughs) How much older were you? I mean, are you, uh, compared to the bad boys, about 10 years older than the bad boys? Uh, Well, Tony is now what? Uh, I'm 81, 82, 82. <laughs> coming to 82. <laughs> Tony is 70, 70. can 75. reveal age, la, can, la, 75 years young. He was still a schoolboy. Yeah, 17, uh, 17, 18 years old, my goodness. Yeah. Joshua, just a few years older than you, you know, and he started band already. You know, out, you know, playing music, earning good money. <laughs> <laughs> what money? <laughs> um, okay, some, uh, okay, so... Trailers was formed in the early 60s, 60. early 60s, and then um, when you were their manager, you produced an album with them at that time? Uh, yeah, the, uh, this song is called Do It Right, and uh, it went on the top hits in the Singapore radio for about 10, 10 weeks, I think. Wow. Yeah. Was, uh, it, was it tough trying to push uh, music at that time? Was it an original song that you did? or, or uh, it Yeah, the, the song was composed by um, our rhythm guitarist, Eric oh. Tan. Bass. Huh? Bass. Bass. Uh, uh, bass. C- could you all bass give us a, a, like uh, a tune? Like, could you sing a Can you remember bit? the yeah. tune of the song? Do the things I'm doing, do it right? Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Tony, do you remember? <laughs> uh, Tony, do you remember? 
I, I can't sing the English. Are we going to make Tony sing tonight? <laughs> Chinese version, I know. Chinese version. <laughs> Got Chinese version of it. Uh, yeah, so, so I met up with Eric uh, recently. Or I, I spoke to him, but we can't meet up because of the COVID situation. Right, right. And then uh, we were talking about uh, things happening in the 60s. And um, we mentioned about Tony, and he says, yeah, he heard of him. But you didn't get in touch with him, right? Once in a while. Once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. So that's a funny thing. So we have the, one of the albums that, that the trailers did before. It's called Thun Thunderball? Uh, that was, Is it yeah, Thunderball? Uh, yeah, but uh, that was the, another song which uh, Benny Cole sang. Uh huh. The, so those, uh, that part. Don't Cry or something like that. I can't remember. That album, is it also covers or original tunes? The, the Thunderball was, uh, was covered because uh, it's a. Uh, the, what they call the theme song from theme one song. of the James Bond. Oh, movies. oh, okay, okay. And then the, the other one, Shout Don't Run or something. I can't remember, Cry Don't Run or something. Like that. Is it also, also one of the songs uh, in the album? Eric, Eric Tan's, uh, uh -huh. he wrote that song as well. Okay, we actually forgot to bring the actual, um, uh, what do you call that? Vinyl. Vinyl, yeah, but we have the picture of it. If uh, Norman could just flash it on for everyone to have a look at. So that's the back cover that you're looking at. And in the front, we have Uncle Tony's face. Can we flash it for, for if you can, yeah, zoom in okay. and have a look. Do you see Uncle Tony's face? And, and the other musicians, I don't really recognize them. Um, uh, okay, um, there were many organists or, or, or keyboard players those times. We call them organists, but now we call them keyboard. <laughs> uh, <the laughs> oh, famous, really? Yeah? You call them organs? Ah? Yeah, those, the, those days we were playing Yamaha organ. Remember, Tony? You call that organ? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's keyboard. Le like that. Lectone, lectone. Electrons, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Lectone, with lectone. With the pedals, right? Yeah, with the, with the bass pedals, pedals, and then they have the percussion box, yes. and then you got the, the, the bass um, on, the, yes. on the leg pedal. Yes, yes. Yeah, the you leg, remember? Yes. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> uh, not that old. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then um, we had another song, which was, it's, it's a cover, actually it's a Chinese New Year song, we call it the Phoenix Team. Oh, Chinese New song? Yeah. So was it sung in Chinese? No, no, it was musical. Uh -huh. And you know who's the, who's the pianist? Uh, it wasn't pianist. He, who was the organist, the keyboard? Uh, Jimmy Chan. Jimmy Chan. Jimmy Chan. Jimmy Chan. So, so there were a lot of uh, mm. famous musicians, musicians who moved, who came, uh, uh, who yeah, who joined and, 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 left. and left. Yeah, but Tony famous. was the only uh, drummer who stayed on the entire time. Uh, yeah? I left and he was still there. Yeah, yeah. I, I left because I have to travel all over. Yes, the yes. You went on to do some corporate work afterwards, yeah. right? Which is why you haven't seen each other for 53 years. Right. Yeah. And then, um, of course, Tony was in a few other bands after that. He was uh, many other bands. He was yeah. recording. And Jive Talking. Jive Talking. Jerem Z with uh, Jeremy Montero. Oh, yeah. And uh, who else? Richard Oteta, uh, uh, Richard Ortega. Ortega, 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 the famous musician. Yeah, a lot of familiar names. If you know, you you guys uh, were enjoying music at that time. Of course, I, I don't really know all of the musicians, but once in a while, I bump into them. Yeah, so it's 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 nice that you know we got we got my my dad in law and and Uncle Tony reminiscing again. Um, so where were these places that you guys used to perform at? Okay. Are they still around? Uh, no. No. Uh, so, like Tropicana Bar or what? No, no, no. no <laughs> I need no, no Tropicana. No. We, we perform uh, at some of the night spots. Uh, we started off at, at Penang Inn. In. You remember uh, Penang Way or Penang Inn? No, not Penang. The one at Upper East Coast Road, the small little hut like. Uh, you forgot that one. Uh. That Walter one? Cole, you remember him? He was the manager oh, there. I forgot already. Oh, Walter forgot. Cole, I know. <laughs> huh? I know the palace. Theater. Oh, Palace, yeah. that was our tea dance. Oh, tea dancing, yeah. which happens in the afternoons, right? Yeah, Sunday. Ah, so talk about tea dancing. What were the what was the crowd like? What's the audience like? They were the girls, yeah, you know. Like they were wild. Wild. Uh. <laughs> so they threw themselves at the band like, today. <laughs> so for no, young musicians me, at that it's time. Too ah, it's too okay. far away. Oh, so it's always Benny, the guitarist, Benny, is it? Benny and the vocalist that gets the girls. <laughs> <laughs> So for young musicians, that was super happening. La. Yeah, that was, yeah, wow, that was okay. happening. Tea dancing, my goodness. And yeah. anything sort of can happen, even a fight at the tea dance. Yeah, in the afternoon also got a fight. Oh, Did yeah. they serve alcohol in, in the afternoons? Uh, I think beer, right? Those days. 
Soft drink. Soft drink. Ah, yeah. Two dollars fifty cents. Two dollars. You go in, then they provide you one soft drink. Yeah. And ah, then, okay, okay. Not you bad. You can huh? have it out. Not bad, not bad. Mm. Uh, let me tell you something mm. though. Remember, I was telling you that I know nothing about music. Mm -hmm. I used to have the craze about playing musical instrument uh, at the age of seventeen, but never seems to get around to it. Then, the, at the age of I couldn't even sing. At the age of 60, uh, mom and me, your mother-in-law, mm. we used to go to karaoke and I sort of sat around, you know, cold feet. And then somebody just invited me to sing and I had to sing because it was my birthday. So I sang a song and I still remember Elvis Presley, Love Me Tender. And somehow everybody liked it. You know, I don't know whether they pleased me because it was my birthday or because of my voice. They have too much drinks, that's why. <laughs> you are right, you are right. Too many drinks. So that started me off. And then, um, seems to drift around and I've got this idea about playing an instrument. Uh, Try the keyboard, Yamaha, didn't work. And then, uh, tried guitar, didn't work. Then finally, at the age of 71, uh, that was the start of the ukulele. I went to the shop called U Ukulele Woman, and I think some of them, some of the guys are still watching tonight, are on tonight. Uh, Alan, Alan, Alan was the one who introduced me to, he brought me to, the, to Thailand to perform with him at the Ukulele Festival, International Ukulele Festival, and that was fantastic. Anyway, to cut it short, to, I started off ukulele at the age of 71. And a uh, very nice guy, Peter Singh was the guy who taught me. Then later on, I picked up you know, all the little tips from our friend Spencer Go. He, was, he gave me a tip on how to play with the thumb, to st strike on the, on the bass string and all. And that's how I launched myself into the double neck ukulele. Okay, so yeah, that, that's really cool. And after, way. the funny thing is you never performed with you know, the trailers, I mean, you were their manager, but after 53 years, you get to perform with Uncle Tony. First time, no Yeah, rehearsal. so remember this day, 8th of October, 2021, after 53 years. So talking about the trailers, we, um, I know they did, they did quite a bit of covers. So we're going to do a few songs that the trailers used to do. Um, yeah, here's the next one called, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Then maybe we'll invite that yeah. to the sofa. Great.
Have you ever seen the rain uh, by CCR from 1970? Now, up next is something that has been sung by many singers uh, since the 40s, but of course it's popularized by the Rolling Stones in the 60s. They made it into a kind of like a rock and roll version. Okay, so I shall invite my son up to join me again. Don't worry, Uncle Tom will come back again um, for our finale song. So the next song we have is called Route 66. Your cakes on a route 66. It winds from Chicago to LA. More than 2,000 miles all the way. Get your cakes on a route 66. Now you go through St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri. Now singing this first time performing the song so yeah lots of stories to tell but we shall tell them in another day <laughs> okay what's our next song oh okay so we were talking about Elvis a lot just now right we can't leave him out of this era of music so this next piece is something that has been sung a million times with a million renditions but still played at every single wedding up to date is something called Can't Help Falling In Love which is the reason why this 13 year old boy knows Elvis Presley because I made him learn this song <laughs> With you 
Falling in Love by Elvis Presley from 1961. Now the next song is um, something that my mother-in-law used to always uh, ask me or my sister-in-law to sing. Uh, Tiffany, if you're watching, do you remember the song that mom always asked us to sing? Now mom is no longer here with us, but I would like to dedicate this song to her. Now this song is called Downtown. And we know that heaven is way more exciting than downtown. <laughs> My exciting, right? <laughs>
little places to go where they will never close. Downtown, just listen to the rhythm of a gentle bossa nova. You'll be dancing with them too before the night is over. Happy again. The lights are much brighter than you can forget all the troubles, forget all your cares. So go downtown where all the Our next song is a super danceable tune, so please get up and join us. So I am wearing my 1960s outfit, if you can see, with a very happening t-shirt and my twirly skirt. So this next song is called Stupid Cupid. We hope you will dance along with us at home. Don't be shy. Sweet, sir. Uh, let me find... Okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> not ready. Too excited. Saxophone is not ready. <laughs> Bale, Bale, sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> Stupid Cupid, you're a real mean guy. I like to clip your wings so you can fly. I'm in love and it's a crying shame. And I know that you're the one to blame. Cupid, stop picking on me. Can't do my homework and I can't think straight. I meet him every morning about a half past eight. And I'm acting like a lovesick fool. You've even got me carrying your books to school. Hey, hey, set me free. Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me. You make me up for good right from the very start. Stop begging on me. You got me jumping like a crazy clown, and I don't feature what you're putting down. Well, since I kissed this love and lips of wine, the thing that bothers me is that I like it fine. Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me. Hey, hey, set me free. Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me. Hey, hey, set me free. Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me. Thank you. And Joshua will introduce our final song. 
So um, I would like to invite um, my grandfather, yes, back to the stage and to perform our final song, um, This Little Light of Mine. Hi everybody, I'm back again. Dad, you're going to talk into the mic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So this final tune is called This Little Light of Mine. Please don't be shy to clap or to sing along. It's a really simple tune and uh, yeah, you will definitely know the song. Uh, this song was written in uh, 1923. I think. 1923, before yeah. any of us were born. Way, way <laughs> back. Before I was born even. And uh, oh, it was in 1920 earlier. 1920? Wow. Yep. Okay. And this song was supposed to, uh, it, was, it, it was meant for kids, for children. Yes. And I remember one of, in one of the shows, you were mentioning about the right way of singing. I think it, must be, it was the last show or something. The, the right, right, right way. way of singing. What do you mean right way of singing? Um, you were some Basunova song or something, and you were mentioning that one of the musicians told you that it has to sound... Oh, 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 you yeah, yeah. A-A-B-A. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I wrote back, I said, actually, a song is like a piece of art. Yes. And the singer is actually the artist. Yes. The performer. You can do it any way mm -hmm. you like, as long as the rhythm is right. Uh -huh. And as long as people like yeah, it. Yeah, as long as you have an appreciative yeah. audience, whoever they may be, right? Yeah. Do you know the Beatles sang the song, My Bonnie? My bonnie bon lies over, over the ocean. My bonnie lies yeah. over the sea. Yeah, the Beatles make it a hit as well. Do you know that, uh, Tony? You didn't know. <laughs> okay, now I, we all know. Too young. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was our time. But uh, Beatles, <laughs> it was around the time that they sang the Yellow Submarine. You remember that one? The, the Yellow Submarine sounds like we a children's were, song. Yeah, but that's a difficult song to sing, uh -huh. I can assure you. <laughs> so... Uh, this little light of mine, uh, I'm going to sing it the alien style. That's my what style. What is an alien style? <laughs> That's my style. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, I'd like to thank uh, all my friends who have been supporting me on the watching tonight. Uh, I've got uh, even a comment from uh, Macau. Macau? Yeah. And friends from my funny group, we call the Weird and Weirder group. Weird and Weirder group? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> these are actually these are the younger people, much younger than me. You know, okay. they're ten, twenty years younger than me. Uh -huh. So we get along. We have some fun. Okay, that's great. Yeah, young and old. You know. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. A bit serious. Let it shine. Whoa. Let it shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it shine. This little light of
much. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us on this very special episode. And our very special guest, my father-in-law, Tom, Tom Lau. Lau. And of course, the one and only legendary drummer, Tony Z. And they used to be in a, in a band called The Trailers together, for those of you who've just joined us and didn't catch up on the story. So this is uh, 53 years since they last met. And of course, we have my son, Joshua, who is uh, Tom Lau's grandson. So this is the first time you're watching uh, three generations perform together. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that. And of course, we have Michelle, who has um, yeah, played so wonderfully and who has been my partner in, on all, in all of these episodes. And once again, we would like to thank Eden Resources. Eden Resources, Chris Chua. Thank you so much for making this possible. You have made this young man very happy <laughs> and this young man very happy. <laughs> and this young man, I don't know if he's happy. I hope he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's the old man, I'm the young one. <laughs> and it was so much fun reminiscing about um, the music scene in the 60s as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was great yeah we learned quite a bit from there. Thank you so much. And then, yeah. what's on for our next episode? Yes, in two weeks' time, we, we're going to have uh, Jessica Lu. She's going to be uh, playing the Sun Sian. And Sanxian. I think a few other instruments, if she can bring them all. Yes, <laughs> and it's going to be uh, East meets West. Yeah, yes. Fusion Night. Yeah. So, so uh, join us in two weeks' time. Yes, which yeah. is the 22nd of October. Thank you so much once again, everyone, for spending your Friday night with us. Um, yeah, stay safe. God bless everyone and good night. Thank you. Good night.